And then that was when he added me on Snapchat and I opened this picture and all it was was a black screen with a cat emoji and a fish emoji. And then that was when he said that he's actually a catfish and that he didn't want to hurt me anymore. Oh my God. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hello. You have two kids, which is amazing. Were you married or you had a boyfriend? I was engaged to their father at some point in time, but of course I'm not now. Would you call yourself bisexual? Yes. I've been interested in females for as long as I can remember. I met Priscilla on Moco Space, and I just, I thought she was very, very attractive. What she said on her profile interests me because I can relate. She was just saying how she has been heartbroken. We would stay up all night just laughing and joking. This is on the, on the phone? Yeah. Right? It got to a point where we could not go to sleep if we weren't on the phone together. That's really sweet. That's, uh, yeah, well, it's kind of cute now that you think about it, huh? Yeah. So how could you, over the course of those six months, not meet up with her? Honey, your guess is as good as mine. I never understood. It was like every time something came up. You've watched the show. Yes, and I really started to feel like I was being catfished, and I brought it up in a conversation. I was like, am I being catfished? And she was like, no, I had a feeling you were thinking that, but that's not it. It's just things keep coming up. It was just really suspect the entire time, Jeez. but I guess I was blinded. And then she told me that her mom passed. That's when I could kind of sense that things were changing. She kind of withdrew from me. And so I was like, you seem distant. She sent me this long message and was like, I am interested in somebody else. And it was a him. It was a guy. She told me everything that I told you I felt was a lie. Everything. Oh. I'm like, really? You guys are like falling asleep on the phone together. That's not, you don't, you don't fake that unless like you're like really like crazy. This was only about a month ago that you guys broke up. Do you think that you still love her? I'm conflicted. I loved her. I did. It was real for me. This is an interesting and new kind of story for us because getting dumped sucks. I want to help you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Hi. Nice, nice to meet nice you. Nice you too. I'm Neve. Priscilla. Sorry? <laughs> I'm Priscilla. Well, oh. <laughs> well, you Priscilla or whatever. You know, my real name is Ashanti, but you guys know me as Priscilla. Ashanti? Yes, I'm Ashanti. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, I obviously came here wow. with uh, <laughs> like, oh Shatara. You don't mind coming over? This is a Ashanti. Ashanti. Okay. You know Shatara. Yes, I do. Um, I'm curious. How how old are you? Eighteen. So you're a little younger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so like what? A couple years yeah. younger. Four. Couple years right. in, yeah. Okay. Why? Why what? Why do all of this? I tried to break it off. I tried, I tried to reveal myself to you plenty of times. Not once did you ever say, I'm lying to you. Cause and I didn't know how had, to say it. I opened the window plenty of plenty times. Plenty of times, but how's it going? It's not something like I can just like automatically get out and tell you. I opened the door when you, we you had the conversation the you about the catfish. You the door. What did you say? I said, what did I say? I said, I'm, I'm not, because that's my way of telling it. And I couldn't lie to you. Even though I was lying, I wasn't able to like fully come out to you, even though you opened the door, you so-called said. Like, I didn't think it would be a big of a deal. I kind of thought that you knew, but I didn't really. How am I supposed to know? I just assumed that you did. How? After I broke it off, what is it? Like, well, like when I broke it off in September. Even if you assume that she knew you weren't being totally honest, uh -huh. which she was suspicious of, of course, at times. Yeah, I know she was suspicious. There's no way for her to have known who you actually were. So the only way she would have known that is if you had said, like, look, I want to talk to you. When the only thing you had to do was say and be honest with me up front, I am not who I say I am. 
I am not 22. I am 18. Okay. Like, this sh that you doing is a dangerous game. Like, real I talk. I understand. I don't do it anymore. You're the last one. I'm telling you, like, I promise I put it on everything. But, you know, I'm going to chalk all this up to the fact that you're 18. When did you turn no, it's 18? Time to, I turned 18 um, October. Just turned 18. Just turned Yep, just turned 18 in October. So this is weeks of recently turned 18? Yep. You have some serious going up and maturing to do because this whole yeah. was I'm all up. I got a lot of things to learn. I, like, I think it's just for anybody. Turned 18. Duh, we just established just that turned, like a couple minutes ago. I'm not talking to you. I'm having a conversation okay, with conversation myself. Okay, conversation with yourself. Dismiss. Bitch, don't do that shit to me. Dismiss. Did she whoa, just call whoa, me whoa, a bitch? Whoa, I'm done. Like, I'm done. Did you she can, just you call me a bitch? Go. You can just go. Oh, I'm done. Did she just call me a bitch? How the f gonna call me a bitch? I ain't the one. Okay. Come see me. Okay. You remember you, you got okay. my address. Come see okay. me. Okay. Kiss my mother ass. You too, bitch. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? We just read your email. I just would like to know kind of how you met Paula. We started talking last year on Facebook. She posted on one of my friend's walls and I started messaging her. What do you like about her? She has an amazing personality. I can talk to her about anything. I've never had that from anybody, but every time I want to meet her or something, she pulls up an excuse and then eventually got her to get on Skype with me. It was a completely different person. So the person that you were video chatting with was not the girl from the photos? Yeah, not at all. Wow. When you guys were video chatting, did you have a clear video of this girl? It was a bit pixelated. It wasn't the best connection. What was your reaction? I was shocked and I was upset, questioning why she would do that to me. Then she texted me saying that she had her cousin get on the camera. Why did she want to do that? She wanted to see if I loved her for her, is what she was saying, and not for her looks. But you had never seen that girl before and you never saw her again? No, not at all. But you're still in love with her? Yeah, I really love her a lot. I want to see who I fell in love with. I really don't know for sure who it is until I see it with my own eyes. We'll make it happen. I really appreciate it. All right. All right. Later, Ramon. Bye. Bye. <sighs> I'm going to assume that your name is Lloyda. Yeah. I have a lot to say to you. First off, I don't understand how, even after me buying you all those things and being there for you and stuff, how you keep lying to me, how you kept it going. I gave you a lot of time telling me the truth and you kept on lying to me. You basically took advantage of me and that's pretty <laughs> up. Like, can you tell me why you even made that fake profile? Just boredom. I honestly wasn't looking to meet anybody off of it. I was just bored and made a fake profile. You just, that's it? Nothing else? I'm sorry, I mean. All that money I spent on you, you gonna pay me back? You gonna give me the stuff, what? You want to take the stuff? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know we came a long way so you guys could meet. Because I think Ramon deserves an explanation. I didn't think any, any relationship was going to form with him. All of it was real, just not the appearance. That's the only thing that was fake. You couldn't have, like, came clean? After all that, if you felt bad? I tried to come clean. You tried to come clean? You know I tried to come clean. You know I tried to come clean. Please don't. You know I tried to come clean to you several times. Yes, and, and every didn't. single time. Yes, I did. You were acting all sad. You knew. I knew what? You knew that I tried to come clean before. Is it all right if we all come in? Yeah. 
He knows my full name, though he probably will claim that he forgot it. He knows he heard my birthday. He's seen my driver's license. You've seen me. We FaceTimed. We Skyped. You called me by my name before. Is that true? Yeah. Now that I... What the hell? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were multiple times where he has seen me. He knew that if I was in Paola, he knew that this is what he was going to get, whether he wants to act like he doesn't know or not. It's a little weird that you didn't tell us that, yeah, you got, that she went to such, she, I mean, you only told us that she once said something and then. That you only saw her from here up. No, he saw me. He saw me. How much of what she's telling us right now is accurate about the fact that she tried multiple times to explain to you who she really was? Yes. That did happen. I barely remember. I what? barely remember Dude, that. We this sat with you for hours this trying to extract stuff from you. It sounds like you had kind of met her a couple times. Yeah, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't. Not at all. <gasps> oh. Hey! Hey, Kirsten. Hi. It's so nice to see someone with a house full of things. Seriously. Yeah. And mine is very full right now. My daughter and I just moved and everything is not in a home. <laughs> Where'd you move from? Just from another apartment. Oh. Oh, well, we wish we could have come to see you in your new uh, apartment in North Dakota. Yeah. How old is your kid? She just turned two in March. Oh, that's so nice. And how long were you with or married to her father? I was with Randy for a little over three years. We broke up in February. It was a little bit rough. So just this February? Yep, just this past February. Is he around and helpful and still involved? Um, yeah, we have her 50-50, and we kind of oh, okay. do as much as we can to help each other out to make sure that, that she's got everything she needs. So you've got your beautiful daughter. You're in a new apartment. You're sort of starting fresh. How do you meet Alex? I was actually quarantining with my ex at the time. We lived with each other from when we broke up in February until just now in June when we finally got our own places, which was rough by the end there. Like we just thought all the time. And then one night this guy adds me and I'm like, hmm, I don't know him. His bio said he had just moved here from Oklahoma and was looking to make new friends in Fargo because he got a job here. There were other people from Fargo that were mutual friends with me. So I was like, okay. Oh, uh, okay. And so like, I knew that he was at least in kind of one of the circles that I follow. Okay, so you get a friend request and then you guys start talking. So how did that start? He reached out to me, told me he thought I was cute. I'm not used to people thinking that I'm attractive after I've had my baby. So <laughs> the fact that he, it was even a person who thought I was cute, I was kind of like, oh. Oh. He said he came from a smaller town that was something like Stillwater, Oklahoma. He works at the radiology department of the hospital here in Fargo. So you guys started talking, and that first kind of weekend, you guys were, were started planning to meet up. Yeah, we had been bouncing ideas off of one another, like where we would want to go, what we would want to do. Bowling wasn't open at the moment, but that was kind of something I was thinking of. Maybe ice cream afterwards. Cute. And, and while you were planning to meet up, you were also sending him some pictures. Yes, to be honest, it was just really flattering to have somebody who wasn't right. Randy finding me attractive in the first place. Cause I was just right. like, who wants a mom bod? <laughs> no, that's not true. No, I know. No, it's tough. I, I know it's tough. Did you initiate sending him the photos or did Alex ask for it? He asked for them. So did he send you pictures of anything sort of? He didn't, no, oh. because I told him not to. Oh. Why? Because I don't want pictures of it. <laughs> I fully agree. And I'm like, I'll wait until I see you in person. And then what happened? So I was planning on meeting up with him. And then all of a sudden he goes, I just got a message and my dad had a stroke and they're not sure if he's gonna make it. So I need to fly out seven o'clock tomorrow morning. And so of course I was like, yeah, go. And then I talked him through most of his flight. He said he was really struggling with seeing his dad in that stroke state. And then he kind of dropped off. And obviously, he's got a lot going on. Right. Yeah. And then that was when he added me on Snapchat. And I opened this picture. And all it was was a black screen with a cat emoji and a fish emoji. And then that was when he said that he's actually a catfish and that he didn't want to hurt me anymore. Kind of like. Oh, my 
God. And he like deleted his Facebook profile. He deleted his Snapchat. Okay. And then he went away. Yeah. I thought it was all over. But then he reached out to my best friend, Cassie, and sent her a Snapchat and was like, how's Kirsten doing? Oh God. Yeah. Pretty scary. But so he's back on Snapchat. Yes. But not on my Snapchat. But you never got his actual phone number. Never got his actual phone number. How? Yeah. Whoever he is or she is, and we don't know because Alex wouldn't talk on the phone, they're still interested in you, potentially in yeah. Fargo, yeah. and might be someone you know in person. Yeah, I can't, I can't deal with that. I mean, I already have anxiety, so I need to know who it is so that I can safely remove that person from whatever life I'm moving forward with. And I started seeing somebody and started to get really worried. What happens if this is him? Who's this new guy that you're dating now? Is he, he lives in Fargo. Yes, he lives in Fargo. What's his name? Ryan. He's been a good friend of mine for the last five years. Oh, wow. Because Alex showed up shortly after you and your ex sort of officially stopped being together. Yeah. I and mean, if you guys have been friends for a really long time, maybe he's always been secretly into you, but you were in this other relationship. And that's why I was kind of curious then. Randy, did he know about Alex? Because you guys he, were living together. Yeah, he knew that I was at least talking to somebody. But wasn't that awkward? Not for me. It might have been yeah. for him. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I was you know, out of the relationship. And I'm assuming Randy hasn't moved on and like met someone or is- No, he hasn't, no. Were you married? We were engaged. Do you think it could have been Randy perhaps? I mean, I, I do know that he would love it if the breakup had never happened, but if it's him, there definitely would be a really big change in how I interact with him. Clearly we've got a, we've got a weird situation here because we know almost nothing about this guy because he already admitted to being fake. He never had his phone number. The Facebook page you use is gone. I guess I'm just figuring out like, where do we even start investigating from? I did try to find him. I like tried to do reverse Google image searches on all the pictures from his Facebook. Um, I tried to look up the roster of people working currently in the radiology department at the hospital. And there is no Alex or Alexander Jacobs listed on any of them. Hmm. Did you save any of the pictures? I do, I have them on my phone. All right, so you still have some pictures, but presumably yep. of someone that he, that's not him. Isn't, yeah, yeah. Can we see them? Yeah, of course. I can share them. Wait, is this him on the left? Yeah. Okay, wow. Kristen. <laughs> so not drop yeah. dead, but he's definitely cute. And then he ended, he ended up sharing like kids pictures of this same person. So that was kind of even more strange than that when it wasn't real. I was like, how did you get their baby pictures? I just know that to me, there is malicious intent behind actually creating somebody fake. You know, I've already had enough stuff to want this year. So I'm really worried, I'm kind of paranoid. I just need to know who it is so that I can move on. So I guess any, any moment, maybe he'll be joining us. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, was that, uh, it says A. They wrote in the chat, I can hear you. And I can see you too, okay. I don't really understand why you're hiding. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, Kirsten, do you know this gentleman? Yeah, that's Justin. We've been acquaintances for many years. He's actually one of Tad's friends. Huh. After Randy and I split, he tried to hit on me. I turned him down. Wow, okay, so you do know this guy. Have you known he liked you? Just when he asked me out. Before that, I thought he hated me. Before when we were hanging out, things weren't always the greatest between us. And I kind of thought that I can get her to see that it's been five years now, we're not the same people anymore. Things have changed. What was so bad back then? We had a really tight knit group of friends at the time where we did everything with each other every single day. But uh, Tad and I ended in a fight and they pretty much all blamed me. And Justin didn't have your back in the situation? No, none of the guys in the entire group did. 
what I saw was my friend was being hurt and didn't really see things from her point of view. Right. And I just kind of took his side and his word for it. And... Well, you were his friend. Right. It's been, you know, many years later and we're both different people now. We, you know, have grown up, matured, and I, I've always kind of had a soft spot for her. Okay, so you, you, you shot your shot, and she said, no thanks, or what'd you say, Kirsten? I, I just said no based on her history. I don't want to pursue a relationship with you. Okay, she said no. Why make a fake profile to talk to her, and like, what did you see as the potential for doing that? The thing to me was that she was still using like our past from five years ago against me currently. Well, but she also just might not want to go on a date with you. Maybe she's not attracted to you. Right. It was just the reason that was given to me. I thought right. that if we were able to actually get to know each other on a personal level, maybe then there would be that opportunity. I guess I don't know how a lie could turn into something good because I don't do well with people who lie to me. And that's kind of just what this all feels like to me is a big setup lie. On one hand, I kind of get where you're coming from in a sense, but it's almost like wishful thinking. Like if you were going to come out and say like, hey, you know, just to let you know, this is not who I really am. That doesn't change the fact that before you confessed, you deceived Kirsten and we're asking her for photos of herself, that's not consensual for Kirsten. Right. It definitely doesn't make me feel very good. I had this guilty conscience about it. I deleted the pictures and everything. I didn't earn these in a trustful way. I apologize for betraying your trust. And I kind of thought that maybe we'd be able to get over the history that we had and be able to start fresh. I know forgiveness isn't, you know, easy to come by it, but the feelings that you felt and the relationship that you built with the profile I had made was all me. It's good to hear that, but there isn't a future with us in any romantic setting. I don't think I can trust. That's understandable. You know, when she said she was not interested, like, I think you should have probably just let it let it be. Right. No, I, I definitely see that looking back. It went too far and it crossed a line and a boundary. And I think that you know that and you seem remorseful about that. And that definitely means something. Well, I appreciate you guys being able to take the time talk with me and things like that, so. You got a lot of life ahead of you. Take what you've, you know, hopefully learned from this and uh, find someone who's, who's ready and, and right for you. Absolutely. All right, Justin, good luck with everything, okay? Good luck. All um, right, man, see ya. Bye. bye. It feels like he's an okay guy, you know, he just f***ed up. Yeah, I don't think he meant anything malicious. Not where we thought we'd end, but no. It feels like at least it's it's a good ending and there's some real resolution here. Um, yeah, I'm really glad that you guys weren't right and that it wasn't Randy. I was, I mean, that one, man, I was worried there. I was scared. Well, now you can just focus on your daughter and this new relationship with Ryan. Thank you guys so much for helping me. Anytime. Hopefully never again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the phone with Catfish and they want to talk to you. Oh, my. <laughs> Get out here, Will. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> Bye. We've been hearing a little bit about this crazy story. She's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Need a restraining order. Catfish. <laughs> I don't believe she's a catfish because of what she was doing. Send me money, help me out. Over the last two years, how much money do you think she's sent you? Thousands. Thousands. What? Made me feel good. Wow. You weren't sending anything in exchange for this money, because that's a different kind of business. Dick pics. <laughs> no, man. The most important thing here is that you guys are happy, and this girl's doing a lot to, to sort of mess that up. Jealous. I 
I feel like this girl is jeopardizing our relationship. So right. that's what makes me interested in finding out because I want to know. We got to help you guys. All right, so we'll meet you guys in Virginia. DC. DC now. Oh, you're oh, okay. You're out Seattle. DMV area. DMV. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Bye. 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 Wow. I think William wants a sugar mama. Money talks. The good news is we're going to Maryland. So me and Jamie we was talking for like around two years. She hit me up on Twitter. I guess I liked a tweet, and then that's when she inboxed me. She told me her name Jane Gonzalez. She retweets things for promo, like money. Uh, so it's like, right. if you pay me $5, I'll right. post your picture on my page. Yes. Like that. Because mm -hmm. she has a lot of followers. Yeah. Just wanted to get to know who she was. That's when I started texting her, talking to her on the phone. How often were you guys talking? Every day. She's a cool person. She caring, thoughtful. She ain't no judgy person. She had me hooked. Ooh. Did you love her? Yeah, I loved her. I cared about her. At the time, I wasn't working. I told her I need help, money-wise. That's when she was, like, giving me money. But when she was doing the promo stuff and right. things like that, her PayPal got suspended. So that's when she gave them my PayPal. Oh, so, wait a second. Oh. So people send her money to help promote she stuff. Gave and then you're getting just random, random money, like everybody money from God. different accounts. Yes, a random person. Was there ever a conversation where she was like, "Can you accept this and then pay me?" Or was it just like, "Oh, you know what? You just take it." Like you never had an agreement. No, we were talking about she just willingly send me money. You see, a police sold so the house out of New York to come live down here with me for me, but she kept making excuses. Like, I was getting tired and frustrated of that, so I moved on. I told her, like, I can't keep on doing this no more. I mean, this is weird. I know. <laughs> I know it's crazy. And this is maybe the weird <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> Some <laughs> random girl so who crazy. says she's in New York <laughs> tells oh all her God. clients to pay you on PayPal for the social media work she's doing. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hey. hey. What did I miss? Sorry. You scared me. You made it. Hey. What's up? Nice to meet you. Hello. So, what did I miss, guys? The biggest thing that kind of we cleared up is the money thing. It's crazy, you know? You wouldn't right. be, like, expecting someone to do that. Like, it's weird and it's how strange. Many, how many different accounts do you think have sent you money? My, more than 50. You have your PayPal transaction history. We could look at it, right? I'd like to see that. Wow, oh my First. god. Look at all those scrolls you're doing. Guys, you're gonna break his thumb. <laughs> Holy <laughs> He doesn't believe this is a catfish. Okay, so wait a second. So there we go. Jamie Aronofsky, 90 bucks. I thought her last name was Gonzalez. Right. Is she Buttercup Gonzalez? Yeah, that's yeah. what she she was calling her, so that's how I met her. Wait, so she sent you 90 bucks a lot of times. Bad enough. Jesus. 60, <laughs> 100, 50, 70, 40. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Don't break up with this girl. <laughs> <laughs> This is a lot of money, man. Jeez, we're still in May. Donnie, five bucks. Jeju, five bucks. Sarah, five bucks. There's a lot of these. Holy <laughs> You have a $15 pending payment. Someone's... He doesn't care. He's getting money every day. He doesn't even care. This is crazy. With PayPal messages, she said she's like, I see over 5K. Oh, she requested $5,000. She did with the amount of time when I actually broke it off with her. She said, pay back my money or it's a be a problem. That's when Curry told me to block her on both Instagram and Twitter. That's when she contacted me on PayPal. I helped you over two years, and this is what you do to me? She sends a request for six and a half million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and then said, don't keep playing with me. That's when the messages started rolling to me with the disrespect. Right. She's like, your man's a cheater. You need to check him. If you guys want to see it, we could take a look. Sure. Here, Cammy, switch with me. All right. All right, let's see it. There's a whole bunch of them. OK, so she said, you're literally stupid for staying with someone who's a cheater. I already <laughs> your man, girl, and so did a lot of other bitches. So this is clearly Jamie. Yeah. But from a different account. 
you females are so gullible. Sounds like something a guy would say. I know it ain't a man for sure. We could bet on that. Okay, so leave. Got something to tell you. Yesterday, I was on Snapchat going through pictures. Good, so what is all this? Just messages with me and Jamie. That you saved? Yeah, that you saved. She sent me pictures on Snapchat? That's the girl we saw on the Facebook page. Same girl to you? Are you joking? Yes. No, it's the same girl with the glasses and everything. Come on, man. I wasn't sure that the Are you kidding? Yes, it's the same girl. <laughs> man, my memory was off. When was this? It was like 2017. Has Kira seen all this? Kira, no, she hasn't seen all this. Well, I think we've got to tell her. Uh, hey. oh. Did you know that William had real photos of Jamie and he forgot? No. You just. Mm -hmm. you Bro, just okay. get on my face, just go. You're gonna be okay. This was a waste of time. The truth always comes out. Carol, is she okay? She's in the bathroom. I just spoke to her, and she said she doesn't want to come with us to meet Jamie. I wish well, she could come with me. Like, that's right. why I know her. She feel, how she feeling. But I understand where Akira is coming from. I mean, she's upset. She's having a hard time trusting you right now. Why don't we respect her wishes and just leave her alone to cool down? Akira just said she's ready to go home, and she's ready to go off. Oh. I know I up. All right, here's the park. What's wrong? I'm worried about a Carol. That's what I'm thinking about right now. I'm thinking like what's going through her mind. I just want everything to just be, you know, okay. I so wish a Carol could have came. I don't think you'd want a Kira there. Yeah. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, man, let's do this. Jamie? Does it look like her? I don't know. Oh my gosh. This is crazy, cuz. This is crazy. Hi. How you doing? Neve. I'm Jamie. Cammy. <laughs> nice to meet you. Obviously, you know William. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we talk out here? It's a little dark under there. So, what's going on? Um, a lot. You're a Jamie? Yeah. Whole time, you're a Jamie? Mm-hmm. But I did tell you in text who I was, and I sent you pictures. You're right, because we, we just, we saw, just it. saw. Yeah. So when you first met him, were you lying about the yes, pictures? Yes, I was. OK, so, so initially, you were using different pictures. Mm -hmm. So you admitted that you were using the wrong pictures, and you sent yes. him the right pictures. Yeah. But then did you go back to using fake pictures again? Yeah, because he kept on not really believing that that was me. So I said I would just, like in my head, I said I would go along with it. So that is confusing yeah. for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, for most people, I would think they would, they would get it. When I started developing feelings that I had, I came clean because I felt it was the right thing to do. Thank you. <laughs> you are the first person you lied about who you were, then you got into a relationship, you had feelings for him, so you told him the truth. Yeah, because it was bothering and you. You didn't want to believe while. it. I didn't want to believe it. What's up with all the money? Because that's very confusing yeah. to us. I had feelings for him, and I just, I just wanted to help him out. Just because you liked him? Because he loved me. Yeah. And that was just your money that? Yeah, I was making on social media. I mean, I never really had a really serious relationship. And it was like, if I send him money, yeah, they would keep him around. And I look at it now that I shouldn't have done that, but because I couldn't break how I felt, then I just kept doing it. These other accounts right. that I think you created to mess with him and other girls that he was dating, is that? No. Did you not make any of those accounts? No. 
But you've contacted Akira. No. I mean, I don't know what messages that is well, referring saying, to. Well, I know you live. Yeah. I want my money back. Yeah, I've said that, but I didn't actually, like, think that it through like I was actually going to do that. You didn't try to log into her Instagram account? No, there's no way I could have done that. I don't, I don't see nobody else doing that. I didn't have a valid reason to go after Akira. Well, yes, you did. You, you do. I, I honestly, him and yeah. Have a relationship with him, and then he started dating Akira. I wouldn't blame you because I would be pissed off too. I would be like, who the hell do you think you are, just like walking all over me? You had FaceTime me that we wouldn't have been doing it. I feel like you're really judgmental oh my at times. God. You are. I'm judgmental. judgmental. Yeah. I don't think I'm judgmental. Yeah. I don't judge people. At times, you were calling me ugly. I don't think that's right. I would not say that to you. So wait, so after you, told, you showed him pictures of yourself, he said, I'm not attracted to this girl. She's ugly. Yeah. That's And he said that he didn't find my actual voice attractive. You said her voice was ugly? Yeah, I said, I said her voice was ugly. I don't remember, though, but yeah. I do. You don't have a lot of memories of a lot of things. Because I try to forget. I remember everything. I pretty much keep all of our combos. I have everything, yeah. That's how much you was in love with me, huh? Yeah. You really did love me. Mm-hmm.